Hi, it's Chris, and I was looking for a 100 watt folding solar panel that had a power delivery port so I could charge my laptop directly. I looked on Amazon and only found two. So I purchased both of them and here's some of the results I found. For comparison, I have four Renogy 100 watt folding panels that I use with a Victron solar charge controller and my Battleborn batteries on my trailer. Here you can see the three different folding panels I have. At the bottom is the old Renogy 100 watt panel. Then we have the Mega Solar panel and the Big Sky panel. Here you can see the size of the, of the different solar panels when they're packaged up. The Mega Solar 100 watt uh, system came with, you know, the folding panels. It came with a power delivery cable, came with a DC cable, an assorted array of adapters, plus four uh, computer laptop specific adapters. It came with a manual, but I lost it somewhere. Since the uh, Mega Solar has uh, regulated output at 12, 15, and 20 volts. I also ordered an additional um, cigarette lighter socket and then a uh, 20 foot DC cable so that I didn't have to leave my laptop right next to the panels. The big blue 100 watt solar charger comes in a fold up case, comes with a manual with very limited information in it, two year warranty card, a DC cable, an Anderson cable. Uh, battery clamp cable and assorted array of adapters. I really like the package size and weight of the Mega Solar Charger. It's about the size of a loose leaf binder. But I don't understand why they didn't put a uh, zippered pouch here and put the controller inside so it would keep the water and dirt out of it. What I like about this controller is it has a sliding switch down here in the front where you can specify either 20, 15, or 12 volt output. It also has a USB type C power delivery port that can put out 20 volts at 4.5 amps. And then it has a regular USB uh, port that puts out 2.4. The panel easily unfolds, but there's no stand for it, and there's no way to really hold it up because the, uh, because the folding in the panels. So I think you really would have to lay it on something or tie it up, and it has a lot of nice strong grommets on it. The panels all folded up are larger than the Max Sower ones. The big blue says 100 watts. But what's nice is it has this zippered pouch here and the controllers on the inside. You can see the DC output, the Type C power delivery port, the fast charge port. Panels have these fold out kickstands. For my initial test of the panels, I just used my Suzuki 200 um, power station and used the 5.5mm uh, plug and uh, checked out to make sure that each of the solar panels could charge at the maximum input, which is on this one 63 watts. So compare that to my old Renogy folding panel. Getting about 63 watts now on the Max Solar. 
we're getting 63 watts on the big sky panel. So you can use the mega solar panels to charge your car battery. You just switch the setting to 12 volts. This way I can keep my little 40 watt refrigerator plugged into the car and not have the battery drain. Got the big blue panels hooked up. The wire is a little bit short that goes to the battery clamps. So even though the panels say that the DC output is 12 to 18 volts at 5.5 amps max, I'm getting 21.64 volts out of them. And it comes with battery clamps, but if I put them on the battery, it's going to really drive the voltage up. You'll have to be careful. The Mega Solar Panel has a Dell adapter plug. The cable is too short. I'm going to order a longer one. But you set the controller to 20 volts and it runs just nicely. Here's the Mega Solar Panel's laying flat. So this is the Mega Solar using the adjustable controller. You can see this one immediately cycles through the different voltages. And it's delivering two amps. Get the big blue panels set out facing the sun. So on the big blue panels, I can't get the PD port to go into 20 volts. It will only do five volts. And the Souther tester, after three minutes, it's still five volts. Got my little converter that uh, tells it that it wants 20 volts. And this is rated to five amps or 100 watts. And it started out at five volts. We'll see how long it takes to get up to 20. At two minutes it went to 8.65. Went up to 12 volts at two minutes, 45 seconds. Just went to 15 volts at three and a half minutes. And finally, at a little over four minutes, it went to 20 volts. I'm getting the 2.25 amps that it's specced at, and the voltage has dropped down to 19.7. What I liked about the Mega Solar is that it has a controller here that you can select the DC output to be either 12, 15, or 20 volts. It also has a power delivery port that uh, puts out 20 volts and it actually worked and it has a USB-A port on it. It's the lightest of the ones I've seen. It's only five and a half pounds. It's a nice small size and um, the customer service was really good. When they, the package arrived missing a cable, I contacted them and they immediately sent me a new one. What I dislike about it is that the controller is outside. I don't know why they could not have just put a zippered pouch and put the controller on the inside. That would have been a much better thing. The also, it uh, doesn't have a stand or anything, so pretty much you just have to lay it flat on a car or on a next to a picnic table or something like that, or on the ground. The big blue is a little bit bigger. It has a uh, and it weighs uh, 8.75 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. It has built-in uh, leg stands, but it has this nice zipper pouch here that the controller is on the inside. And the controller has um, DC out, it has a USB power delivery port, and it has uh, fast charge uh, USB ports. The only problem is that for me, it didn't. the power delivery port didn't work. I only got five volts out of it, not 20. And also, um, on the cover out here, it says that the DC output is 12 to 18 volts, but on the controller, it says it's 18 volts. When I tested it, it's uh, anywhere from 12 to 21 volts. So uh, it's not regulated, and you wouldn't want to just plug it into things, even though it comes with a set of uh, car battery clamps. I definitely prefer the Mega Solar panel because it has the uh, 20, 15, and 12 volt regulated outputs and a PD port that actually puts out 20 volts at uh, 4.5 amps. And I could use it for a lot more applications than the Big Blue. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.